Hi there, my name's Grant Emans and welcome to this short video on an exciting new development we have here. Uh, building our tiny homes, we've been looking for a tiny house gutter system. Now you'll see in my left hand here I have a typical residential gutter, just a short section. This is called a, a high front or high flow gutter system. It's about 125 millimeters wide. Now the reason why we don't use something like this on a tiny home is it's just simply too wide. You put two of those gutters together and it's sacrificing too much internal space. The overall width of a tiny home is only allowed to be 2.5 meters overall. So no one's going to sacrifice that much space just for a gutter. We do and have recommended in the past people just install a gutter after the tiny home's been installed. However, we're always looking for new developments and easier access and use of a tiny home to make it more portable and more versatile so that you don't have to take the, the gutter off if you do decide to move. And here we have our first working prototype which we've just installed on our latest display model uh, which will be finished shortly and we'll, we'd love to show you that uh, both in person but we will do some more videos. But you'll see here that our new gutter it replaces our, our previous flashing um, and it's open at the top. We still have the, uh, the roof flashing that goes up underneath the roof sheets to prevent any uh, build up of water if it was a large rain event. This system here is developed for a 100 millimeter rain event. It's enough size with the roof space that you have in a tiny home that it will cope with that much water. And if it ever was to overflow or if it got blocked, we have this um, roof flashing to prevent that. Obviously, you can see here the water would overflow the top before it went up back into your tiny house. Putting the two gutters next to each other, you can see the difference. It's probably difficult to see there, but we're only talking about a 20 to 25 millimeter internal space compared to the 125. This means that we don't lose any space on the inside of the tiny house that we wouldn't have already done with a previous flashing on the outside. So yeah, we're very excited. It probably not a lot or doesn't mean a lot to many people. The finer details, um, a lot of people brush over, but for us this is a really important development and it's exciting to know that um, you can have and be more independent portable without the hassle of taking the gutter down. So thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time on another short video about tiny homes. Thanks.